Good morning. It's Monday, April 19th. Today's full World Watch covers a lot of territory. Sure, passports are needed to travel, but you may soon need one to go to a sporting event. A look at vaccine passports. And would you move to West Virginia for 12,000 bucks? One man's putting up millions in hopes you will. Now, this is Top Story. Eat more uh -huh. cows? Uh -huh. Yes, in Cuba. The communist government just lifted a 60-year-old law that bans owners from slaughtering any of their own cattle, which means Cubans might be eating and selling more beef. Cuba banned killing cattle decades ago because the government was afraid all the cows on the island would die out. So you weren't allowed to eat or sell your own cow without the communist government's permission. You could go to prison for 10 years. Even if your cow died accidentally, you got slapped with a fine. But right now, Cuba is facing a dire food shortage and the government is making agricultural reforms to try to keep people fed. Lifting the ban actually means cattle production might increase because people can buy and sell cattle more freely and ranchers may expand their herds. Once we can sell the beef, I can develop the genetics on the farm and achieve things that we have never achieved before. That's not the only change happening in Cuba. Raul Castro is stepping down as head of the Communist Party. The Castro family has controlled Cuba for decades, with Raul's older brother, Fidel, running the country from 1959 to 2008. In 2018, Raul Castro handpicked Miguel Diaz-Canel to manage the government's day-to-day -day operations and now will likely hand him control of the Communist Party as well. Been watching Top Story for a while? It's time to check out the full show for free. Head over to worldwatch.news and click on the button in the middle of the screen that says stream 30 days of videos for free. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.